All right, traveling to Texas this week, out here in Sealy, Texas of all places, right? Little town, Sealy, Texas, to visit the Aeroplane Manufactory. Aeroplane Manufactory builds the Chinook aircraft that you've seen Dan Reynolds fly at these uh, stole competitions throughout the, the year. We're gonna give you a factory tour right now. A little backstory. Before John and Kim started building airplanes for a living, they purchased some land, then a little more, and a little more, and finally cleared all of it to build their very own custom airport. With three runways, nostalgic styled hangars, a pavilion tower for hosting events, an entire residential community, and an airplane manufacturing. Let's step inside the factory of one of the slowest flying stole aircraft in the world. I'm John Couch, this is my wife Kim, and we are the developers and owners of Gloucester Aerodrome, and we own Aeroplane Manufactory. All right, so back here at the Airplane Manufactory, and we're gonna get a factory tour with John. John, step us through the process uh, from start to finish, starting with raw materials. Yeah, so uh, what we do is we stack uh, by size and by wall thickness uh, all the various tub tubular materials that we use to build the Chinooks. So in this particular case you're seeing one and three eighths by 035, one and a quarter by 035, one and eighth by 058, so forth and so on as we go up. Against this wall here what you're seeing is the same kind of arrangement but organized in uh, thicker to thinner tubes. All of this is aircraft grade uh, aluminum 6061-T6 tube. The difference is the size of the tube and the wall thickness of the tube. So in the bottom rows you here you see the two inch tubes that are used for the spar material. The spars are, are engineered. So some areas of the spar we have tube and tube and then we have tube and tube and tube in certain critical areas. And so all these various sizes of tube is for that purpose. So what you're looking at here is our welding bay. And in our welding bay, we, uh, we do all of the gear work. The gear work is, is uh, pre-cut. The factory pre-cuts it and our welding team comes in uh, four or five times a year. When they're here, they work through the night to get the DR gear systems made for us. When they're made by the welders, we then uh, sand them. We then uh, take away any of the uh, uh, welding pricks and that kind of thing. We finish the work and then we paint it. So we order uh, steel in very long rods and we take them down and we, we cut them to size to fit the, the, the welding jig. All of this steel is um, 4130. Uh, the wall thicknesses go from uh, 032 to 058. Dan Reynolds has been building, modifying, and flying his Chinook for many years. And the factory has a special model designation they call the DR. So this is a uh, Chinook DR. The Chinook DR has the DR gear system on it. As you can see, as we were discussing earlier in the assembly building, uh, this comes out of the jig completely completed to where the customer simply bolts on to the already existing holes all the way down the chain. And so this is the front seat pan, this is the rear seat pan, this is where the vertical member comes up and so forth and so on. So the butterfly cabane is actually attached to the seat pan first, like here. It's bolted on. So the holes are pre-drilled and you're matching the holes. You may have to ream the holes out slightly to make all the bolts fit, but this is how it's, it's installed. The butterfly cabane is the main structural member of the fuselage and it comes to you like this, already pre-built, pre-painted, and all you're doing is attaching.
The wing panels are pre-built for you. There's 168 AD64H rivets in this wing panel that creates a Pratt truss. The SJ is beefed up more than the DR. This is a DR wing. So it means that you don't have a Pratt truss in the last bay. The Chinook uh, SJ has a Pratt truss in the last bay. The ribs are pre-bent. The nibs are attached and all you're doing is matching the holes that are pre-drilled onto your wing panel and riveting with stainless steel rivets. So in the middle of the uh, factory building here, we have these long, 15 foot long jigs. This jig is used to build the flapper on main spar. And uh, it's been precision welded in order to uh, drill all the relevant holes for that. This, uh, this jig here is where the body tubes are built up with all the constituent stations done. This table over here is our wing jig table where the engineered spar has been uh, pre-drilled for you. This is upside down because the left wing is built upside down because we use the same jig for right and left. And so the actual holes that would for the rivets are, are here. Uh, and you can see how um, the material is pre-cut and then what we do is we hand rivet each one of the 168 rivets that go into the wing panel to keep the, the structure sound. Over here is a cutting table for tube. Uh, it's super, super important to get really clean and good cuts, square to cuts. And that's what we use this area for. This area here is for grinding. So when we cut a tube, what we do is we, we take all the nibs off of the cut, if there is any, and then what we do is we ream it. You see the reamer over there? To smooth out the end of the tube so you don't you cut yourself on the tubes. Over here is the cable table. So all this is pre-arranged for us to build cables for the Chinooks. And the cables, like I said, are pre-cut uh, for both the DR and the SJ. We are partnering with great companies like Dynon Avionics at Dynon.com. AirTech Coatings at AirTechCoatings.com. Clemens Insurance at ClemensInsurance.net. The Aviators Clinic at aviatorsclinic.com. Foxtrot 95, Calhoun County Airport at flyfoxtrot95.com. Edge Performance at edgeperformance.no. Take a moment to go visit their websites at the links found below in the description of this video. And visit our website at experimentalaircraftchannel.com for events, our video library arranged in easy to find playlists on specific topics, affiliate products, aviation merchandise, and so much more. So let's talk about the manual just for a minute. Sure. So the manual it comes to you in a, uh, in a computer stick. So everything is in color. This is in black and white. Uh, this, this shop copy is in black and white, but it's in color. And so like we were talking about earlier, you have your steps here. Your step three, assembly of inside down tubes we talked about. You're pulling the part, left hand, right hand side, and what hardware you're going to need to install it. You have an explanation of text telling you exactly how to install it. But to support that, you also have a graphic here that shows you where that cut is. It's a 45 degree cut you would make, and you actually have to drill your own holes for the inside down tube. What's difficult about this kit is there's so much has been done for you, it's hard for us to find parts for you to do uh, in order to get your 51% rule done. So you can see here in this picture, this is black and white, but it's color in your, on your manual. And you can see how this inside down tube has been cut to fit the cross tube there. And then you go to the next step. So what, this is where, this is really where the magic happens over here, right? This is where the magic happens. This is where all of the skill is required. Uh, this part is our machine shop area of the factory. 
And so you can see this is a stainless steel part that has been uh, pre-cut CNC'd and then what has been done is it has been bent in our bender to create a perfect uh, part that is bolted on to a, a down tube. And you can see in anything structural in the Chinook, it's steel. Over here is an industrial shear and it cuts precisely everything that we need to get cut here. We have uh, lays, horizontal mills, vertical mills. We have a uh, vertical mill over here that's programmable D in uh, DRO readout. Uh, we have squashers, we have benders, we have twisters, we have ways to manipulate the metal to fit the part. Um, it would be impossible to build this airplane from scratch without these kind of tools. We make uh, all the parts for the Chinook Plus 2. We do not make Chinook Plus 2 kits anymore, but we certainly support the fleet of hundreds of Chinook Plus 2s that are out there in 30 odd different countries. And so one of what, what we do is we make this what we call, in Texas we call it the Longhorn, right? Okay. But it's really the main um, the UC gear, yeah, the UC spreader bar. It's, a, it's actually the main gear component. What you saw there with the butterfly cabane takes this element out of this. And so the same bolt holes apply. What you see here in this jig is the drill jig for this. And so it's placed into the jig and then drilled accordingly. I see you've got these uh, little bungs welded in here. So those are your drill guides right there. The drill guides. And so that's how that works, like this. And so it's pressed into the jig and then it's drilled out. Uh, before that is done, it's bent on this, this hand bender here, this very large bender here. This device uh, came from the original Chinook factory in Canada. We still use it. It is uh, a way to bend uh, the, uh, the half inch tube that we use for the wing ribs. And um, it's very, very effective. It's got to be done properly, otherwise you won't get the right bend and it won't fit the wing. If you've been following the National Stole Series in the U.S., chances are you have seen the Chinook aircraft before. But maybe you didn't know you could actually build one yourself from a kit. And here is how it's packaged up and sent out the door. I'm starting to pack up the kit here. And this is the kind of box that the DR gear comes in um, with the tail wheel and the, the, the actual gear. And then we put the ACS tow brake kit in here too, and also the tires. And that this is the size of the box that you'll be getting. Elevator comes to you. This is for a DR, not the SJ. The SJ elevator is much larger. Uh, packing and shipping room. Yes. So we cover all of the parts in the kit in plastic because we know that people take months, sometimes years, to build their kit. And we don't want moisture to invade the, the, uh, the kit. It's untreated steel, uh, metal or steel. So we want it, we do it this way so that you can uh, pack it into your garage and wait till you're ready to build. And then you've got all the inventory for all the kit parts stacked in the, the shelves here. Yeah, it's organized. So all the ho hardware is organized by size. All the parts are stacked by area. Uh, for example, here's your floorboard material. It's already pre-cut, pre-bent, and all you're doing is affixing it onto the floor with rivets. So essentially you carry stock and inventory for, is it three different models? One of which you don't produce, you just support, correct? That's exactly right. We have uh, plus two parts in here, we have Chinook DR parts in here, and we have now the Chinook SJ parts. And mostly we sell Chinook SJs. So a big part of our business is making DR gear systems for existing Chinook plus twos. That would include the tailwheel as well. 
So you can actually convert your existing Chinook Plus 2 into the Chinook DR. And you can add in-wing tanks if you wanted to at that time. And so you can really make that airplane outstanding uh, if you uh, wanted to modify your Chinook Plus 2. All right, if you can give everybody like a, a ballpark idea or what, what the current pricing is to build one of these. Okay, well, we've um, recently, unfortunately, had to raise some of our prices due to the cost of metal, which has skyrocketed. But our um, most current pricing is for the Chinook two-stroke, the DR model, is about 27000 And to that, you need to add the propeller cost, the engine, instruments, um, and paint. So if you think of the... the the two-stroke is probably about seven. I think the last quoted price we got from our supply was about seven thousand. So you're thinking twenty-seven plus uh, another seven for the engine would be like in the region of maybe thirty-five to forty by the depending, shipping, what, yeah. depending what instruments you want, and um, because you can spend a fortune on instruments or you can have real, real basic stuff. So, so is the f paint is never included in any project, right? But is, being this no. is a fabric airplane, do you include that as part of the kit or is that additional? Paint is additional. No, not, not the paint, the fabric the itself. Fa the fabric oh, the fabric is part is of the included. kit. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. All the fabric items and the glue oh. to, to, for gluing the fabric And the on, fabric tape. And the tape is all included. Mm -hmm. Um, so, that, so the DR two-stroke, uh, the kit itself is about 27,000. The four-stroke is 27,800. The SJ two-stroke is 35,000, and the SJ four-stroke is about 35,500. And then to those, you, to each of those, you need to add the engines, propellers, uh, in, uh, instruments, and paint. <laughs> so uh, we have a website which is www.am planes p l a n e s dot com and we also have a youtube channel which is aeroplane manufactory and we have a facebook page which is also aeroplane manufactory and john posts updated little videos and news about what we're doing at the factory on those two uh, social media sites we do not do instagram we do not do twitter we don't do any of that stuff. oh come on you're not on tiktok <laughs> No, 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 no. I think the Chinook is, but somebody else is doing it. Yeah. Okay. We're too old. We're too old to do this. John and Kim schedule factory tours and even have a special place for you to stay overnight. But call ahead to book at the Gloucester Aerodrome. Thanks for watching the Experimental Aircraft Channel. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you don't miss a single episode. We'll see you next week.